best enough real younger name man how y'all doing we got squid game every clue every hidden details if you have not watched squid game yet you know what i'm saying where have you been at nigga because squid game is good i watched it with my girlfriend i'm gonna let y'all know man that motherfucking squid game that shit is so intense so good y'all gotta go check that out but um uh, we finna be seeing the missing details, uh, hidden details, and uh, know what I'm saying? Every clue. Nigga, y'all get what I'm trying to say. The hidden details, know what I'm saying? Everything that we missed inside the show. You know what I'm saying? So we finna go ahead and get react to it. Um, what I'm gonna need y'all to do is, y'all know to do subscribe to the channel, man, if y'all fucking with me. Because I'm finna watch a little cool eight minute video. You know, we finna watch it together. We finna be chilling. We finna be finding out the clues. Because I wanna know what I missed. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm reacting. You know what I'm saying? I was watching it. I know there's some certain things I missed in the show, you know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of... Y'all just watch the show, bro. Let's get into it. Okay, so did you know that the players in Squid Game could have actually seen what games they'd be playing before they even played them? Quit Between lying. the matches, the characters were all placed into a room filled with bunk beds. And though this seemed just like a rest area, if you look at the walls, they're actually filled with significant markings. As the beds get slowly stripped away, it's revealed that these paintings are actually all of the games that the players would be playing throughout the tournament. Oh, man. No. you telling me I missed that for real. How did I miss that? And, and, ain't no way they had that. In, they ain't no, I got to go back and watch. How did I miss that? And like green light, there's also the honeycomb game. Tug of War, the glass hopping one, the three at the table, and lastly the titular Squid Game. The series itself is filled with clues to the eventual How did I reveals, miss them, man? and this is also the case with the player who's behind the entire. Who is this person? It's absolutely mind blowing. I forgot and who that person this video, was. We're going to be breaking it all down, but I just want to give a huge spoiler alert for the series. If you haven't checked it out, then this is your chance to quit playing. But if you want to continue, then I hope you thumbs up the video and also subscribe to the channel. Without the way, thank you for clicking this. Now let's get into Squid Game. Okay, so at the end of Squid Game, we learn that it was Il Nam all along. Mm -hmm. The final episode reveals that he invented the games as a form of entertainment for him and his rich buddies who had become bored with life. We learn that he had actually got involved in the one that we see in the show because he was dying and wanted a final bit of fun in his life before it was too late. The ending was absolutely incredible and the scene had Ji Hun saying goodbye to the character as he lay on his deathbed. This last meeting actually reflected their first one, in which he too encountered the character as he sat in a bed. It was a pretty big twist that pulled the rug out from under your feet, but eagle-eyed viewers he might have spotted early was, on that there were the several clues behind. pointing towards his true identity. Who would have ever thought the, the old man? That's why the old man number one, the watch. very first player. If we look at the subtext of the series, G Hunter is the final spoiler for y'all. And throughout, we watch as he very much works his way to first place, aka Ilnam. In the final episode, he's left as number one. He inherits a large portion of the character's fortune and comes face to face with him in one of the final scenes. One is symbolic on a number of levels and because it's the first place, it also hints to us that Ilnam is number one and that he's the one controlling everything. In episode 5, Huang Yeah, Jin I didn't realize why he was number one. And he eventually finds a storage room with files on all of the games that have happened over the decades. Upon opening the 2021, the first player there is actually number two and Ilnam's profile is completely missing. There is no file for number one because he doesn't need or want to keep a record for himself. The other players in the game also somewhat I didn't even realize some none of this shit. Ilnam, and though it's not too obvious, when you really think about it, he wouldn't be someone that would be selected for the Everyone else in the Squid Game is roughly the same age, whereas he's extremely elderly. He's also dying of a brain tumor, and thus, even if he did win the life-changing money, it wouldn't last that long. Exactly. He no, wouldn't he even have had this shit. This shit go right to his family. From what we know about the games and the players that have been selected in the past, they're all roughly between 20 and 40, and he's a complete outlier in all of this. And the games themselves are also major giveaways too. Throughout the series, we watched as he said they were all things that he played as a child, and in retrospect, it becomes blatantly obvious that he selected them himself because they're what he knows. On repeat viewings, it's clear that each of them are something that he not only played as a kid, but they're also things that he's very, very good at. Now, the first thing they play is red light, green light. Whilst the other players are absolutely terrified for their lives, 
he gleefully struts about whilst the Terminator's back is turned and even stops before it looks back to face the Yeah, I was wondering why that nigga was so happy to play that game. I'm like, this old nigga crazy. He knows to stop in advance before it ends and turns back around. If we look at the clip of the targeted players, you might also notice something different about him. The one directly to his left and all of the other ones to the side have a slight green overlay that appears over the top of them. If we look at the players to his right, outside of the girl crouching down beside him, this is also the case too. Everyone other than him in this girl's tracksuit appears slightly green, and I believe that this machine sees him without the glow because it's been programmed not to shoot him. If this theory is right, then he also has a protective ring around him that stops the machine from firing at people in his vicinity in case it misses, and that's why the girl to his right is also safe too. Immediately after this game, the players decide to cast a vote on whether they should end the tournament or not. He is the one who makes the choice in the end and casts the deciding vote to end the game. This subtly shows his power over the entire thing, and I actually think that he carried this out for a specific reason. He wanted to give the players a chance to walk away from it all knowing the stakes, and if they came back, then that would ease his conscience slightly, as the choice was theirs. Okay. Hey, that is smart though. He did get a chance to walk away, but they didn't want to walk away, so that's their fault. There's not actually any bends in it, like the circles or umbrellas. But you might think it's easier to have the triangle. The triangle's lines are longer, whereas the stars are shorter, so there's less to cut through before you hit an edge. Being completely honest though, yeah, the, the triangle is a pretty easy shape too, but Ilnam didn't exactly have one of the difficult ones either. Now next we jump to episode 4 in which your I thought the triangle was going to be the hardest, but Ilnam hides away I feel like the, the umbrella was the hardest. The leeches, and he ends up begging for the fighting to stop. Even though up until this point it seemed like the front man was completely in control, he immediately sends the guards in because Ilnam requests it. Another clue is that his bed is the only one that isn't flipped, and this is because the guards likely know who he is. Next, they play a game of tug of war, and because of their players, it seems like Ilnam's. All this shit's starting to make sense to me. Cause I'm like, why the fuck is the old man not getting hurt? I've been, I asked my girlfriend that quest about 500 times, like, why the old man ain't got hurt yet? the game hundreds of times before and knew the best strategy to take. Any team with him was destined to win, and the fact his strategy works definitely proves this. The final game they were pulling the hell out their role, but that's one. And this also has a lot of clues in it. Throughout it, it seems like the character is struck by dementia, and he constantly walks around looking for his house. This game not only pulls from his childhood, but the area does too, and unless the Squid Game organizers were psychic, then they'd have no way of knowing what his home looked like. Throughout the episode, everything he says is brushed away is the ramblings of someone with the disease, but knowing what we know, it becomes all the more obvious that he's in control. In the end, he seems to find his home, and personally, I believe that this is a perfect recreation of it. He's giving the game away because, throughout the entire season, he's letting us know that all of the challenges and environments are based on things from his life. He lets Ji Hun win, and the character is then seemingly killed off camera, but we know that nigga, ain't even, nigga didn't even get shot, at the gate bro. that Ji Hun has just walked out of, we can see that he's no longer there, and though the rest of the court is filled with bodies, his is completely missing. Now knowing what we know, a question you I should have knew this. I gotta start paying more attention, bro. At this point, when he was still invested in playing. Well, the next game is the deadly hopscotch one, and this is by far the most unpredictable of the lot. If he didn't end up getting put in last place, then there would be a danger that the person behind him could push him to his death, like what we see in the episode. There's also the possibility that due to his brain tumor, nigga was lucky to get there. Let, let me start spoiling it for y'all. Let me just be quiet, man. Risk it. Now that is of course a theory, but overall, going back and knowing what we know, I actually think the series. I know I didn't spoil by a little watch. bit for y'all, but here, I, all y'all watched here, this. If you shit. spotted any other ones below, and if this is your first time here, then I hope you enjoyed your trip to the Heavy Spoilers show. We are in a competition right now and giving away three copies well, of the Zack Snyder. The end of it. Yeah, man, that's the end of it. Um, y'all enjoyed this video, though, man. Y'all make sure y'all go and subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all go over there, go check Squid Game out. It is a good-ass show, man. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's so much that I missed in this show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even realized the stuff on the wall. And I and I, I had some up with the old man, because the old man was not getting hurt. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, that nigga was not getting hurt. So I low-key knew that something was up. But um, with that being said, man, make sure y'all go ahead. I already said this shit. I already said subscribe to the channel. Y'all just stay safe.